everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel this is my weekend vlog and for today I'm going to be redecorating a small bedroom this is a bedroom that we have that we kind of throw everything in right now so I'm gonna be taking the stuff out cleaning it up a bit and then I've got some items that I want to put in there so let me show you what the bedroom looks like right now in the state that it is before I clean it up and clean all right, everyone, this is the room that I'm going to be uh, clearing out a little bit and then cleaning in here, dusting and so forth. But let me show you. There's a carpet right in here. I love the floors. We, those are new. Those are not, those were not already there. We redid that. This carpet is also kind of new. I don't even remember how I got this. I think I got it. It was like a patio rug. It was a clearance. But I really liked it for this room because of the colors very neutral with the gray and the white and it's going to go well with the things that I purchased to put in here and in here is a twin size bed right now as you can see there's just stuff on it right now because nobody's using this bed right now but I'm going to fix it up and I've got this makeshift headboard which is a piece of foam board and some cloth over it but we're actually going to make a new headboard for it we're going to, we've got some wood and some paneling that we're going to use I really like this little table that's there, this little desk, the side desk here. It's old, I'm not sure exactly how old it is, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a cleanup on it and maybe, maybe later I'm gonna wanna maybe refinish it. But for now, I just wanna give it a good cleanup and fix some stuff on there. Uh, I'm not sure about this painting. My son really liked this painting, so I'll, I'll probably leave it in here. Uh, then we're gonna hang some curtains. Got some books up there, those are gonna stay, the guitar's gonna stay there. This table, computer, and things and shelves are going to stay there, but I'm going to be taking everything off of there, cleaning it up, and then uh, redecorating, and then I'll put some stuff up here as well. We've got this lamp that's going to stay. I'm not sure about that greenery. The little tiled table, the little table here, that probably will stay. That's a little record player. That's a TV that's going to go. And then the other side is a closet where we've put some stuff in there, but we're going to clean that up and make it look nice. And so uh, let me show you the items that I have purchased to decorate this room, but I gotta clean it up first. All right, so now that you have seen the room and I've cleared it out, let me show you some of the items that I purchased and that I'm going to be putting into that room. I've got some wall art that I purchased. A lot of this is from clearance. And I got this one at, at Hobby Lobby. And it's got some of the, uh, like the Avengers on there. It's got, I think it's got Thor and the Incredible Hulk. So I picked these because I like the theme, I like the colors, and I kind of want the room to have this eclectic feel to it. So uh, I wanted to have different things. But this is a, an inspiration that, I've, that I found, and I'm gonna go according to that. Uh, also, I found, also on clearance, and I got that at Hobby Lobby, by the way, and I got this at Hobby Lobby as well, and it is a poster. And as you can see, it is red, white, and blue. And it is a windmill. I'm not sure, oh yeah, I like this. It is a windmill. So I'm gonna put this on the wall because it's also got the colors and it's got kind of the same motivation that that other picture does. And it's sort of like a, kind of like an industrial farmhouse kind of look, but it also like a man cave. <laughs> I don't know how, to, how else to describe it. But here we go, I've also got this. It says the Empire can't stop us it's sort of a Star Wars theme I just feel like it'll go with the rest of it also because of the colors and like I said I want it to be very eclectic in there I don't want to pick like a specific theme and just go by that I want to mix things okay speaking of that I also got these items from Hobby Lobby now this Empire I think I got this one from Ross and let me see that first picture that I showed you was ten dollars and then this poster was like about six or seven dollars. Yep, six bucks. And this one here, I think it cost me. I was. It was fifteen. This one. No, no, no. Nine ninety nine. It was ten dollars. I was thinking. I don't know. I don't know why I would pay fifteen dollars for it, but ten dollars. Okay. So there we go. I could pay ten dollars for that. So then we went to Hobby Lobby, my husband and I, and we wanted to pick up, you know, the metal signs that they have, and uh, we picked out this one also because of the colors. And it sort of has a vintage kind of industrial farmhouse kind of look to it. I don't know how that all kind of combines in my head, but it does. And it's just a little hot rod and it looks really cool. And then we found this one as well, like a business kind of a sign, good guys. Uh, it says the Rod and Custom Association. 
and it's just got a funny little kind of character but the colors again are all in there and they're also in the other items i've got some other uh little metal signs here these were all half off by the way so this one was $22.99 so i must have paid 11 dollars for this or 11.50 this was 19.99 so i paid 10 dollars for that one and these were half off as well. These were $1.99, so I paid 99 cents for them. And they're just initials. So I've got an N, a J, and an F, which is Nathan Jacob Flores, which is my youngest son. And uh, the room I'm fixing up is so that he can come and stay in it. Of course, it was already is, but then it became a throw, throw, kind of a throw in room. So I'm just fixing it up so he can, uh, when he comes home to visit, he can have that room again all nice because the other one turned into a crap room anyway so these are like cutoffs from like license plates and it looks pretty cool and they're different each initial so that's going to be used and I, I think i want to put them like on a little piece of wood or something maybe you know make the wood look a little worn or whatever anyway uh we're going to do that and let me show you okay more of the inspiration for that room uh, was this globe because at first I was going to do like a world traveler kind of a theme but then I didn't want to get stuck with that and then we like the metal sign idea then I also like the <laughs> the marvels and the empire strikes back all that stuff so I just thought you know what I'm just going to combine everything and make it look like a collector's room so this is a $7.99 I got it at Burlington and it's just a little globe and he's already got some furniture in there a, a desk in there and some shelves in there in black so I thought this was fine uh, that it would match in there and then I got this really nice little lamp I've already tested it out it works I have a light bulb ready in there and I got this at a store called Tuesday morning and it was like at $19.99 and I thought you know what this is a great price uh, I probably would like it to be a lot less but um, it, it looked like a clearance price $19.99 so I thought you know what I really like it I have it I've I had already gone around looking for lamps and I didn't really care for any, but when I saw this, I really liked it. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and pay $20, but you know, I get to the register and it was $11.99. So pretty good deal with that one, 12 bucks. Okay. So then I wanted to go ahead and add some more and I've got a lamp already in there that you saw that's going to stay in there, but I wanted to add even more sort of lamps and I found these pendant light cord set at Burlington as well. These were $10 each. And it's got that like Edison, Edison, is it Edison? Yeah, it's got like an Edison bulb, like a vintage bulb on them. And I got two because I do want to put those maybe hanging on each side on the headboard. I think they look really nice. And I do have some little metal hooks and I gotta look, look for those because those would be great to put on the headboard to hang that from. Okay, so what else do I have in here? Nothing but a receipt maybe. Okay, and I also bought some curtain rods here because uh, I need I need those I don't I, I don't know what happened to the original ones that were in that room but we haven't had curtains in that in that room for a while now and uh, so I have these curtains that when I went to go visit my son in San Antonio my older son they had we bought some we did the baby's room and these were in the baby's room but they were no longer going to go with the decor we ended up buying some new ones so he had these two curtains from that and my daughter-in-law said hey would you like them and I said yes so I'm gonna put those in that bedroom okay to make the bed I found this at Marshall's this comforter and I, I actually went twice because I, I, I had seen it I wasn't sure about it but I really liked it then I went with my husband and we make the final decision on it this is a really nice it's a twin size it's two pieces so it's the comforter and one pillow shell and it's got this sort of like a denim look to it and I love this color of like denim jean you know I love it but it's really soft and it is it was $29.99 30 bucks now I, I probably would have liked to have found a better deal because that's just the way that I kind of like to look for things at a better deal but um, this this was at Marshall's and so <laughs> I went looking at Ross because I figured Ross would have better deals but I ended up at Marshall's and so I got this and I love it I love the color and it's gonna go well with the uh, with these curtains and it's gonna go well with the the theme that I want to the overall feel of the room in there okay so to finish off the bed I also got a couple of throw pillows 
And I found these also at Marshalls, by the way. And I believe these were also like, these were like, they were priced. And they weren't like, oh, great deals. Well, they were 10, this one was 10 bucks, so that's not a bad deal at all. It's a nice, I mean, any pillow, any throw pillows that you look for now is like $29.99, like 30 bucks, just for a simple throw pillow. Now, this is Lake House. And I wasn't too sure that I wanted that, but I thought, well, I'll just put it this way, you know. So this side is what's showing, and it's got that, you know, tannish, burlapy kind of a, like a flower sack feel to it. So it gave me that farmhouse feeling, and yet kind of industrial, because like a warehouse where you would keep, you know, sacks of beans or whatever, rice or whatever. So I like that, that look about it. Uh, now, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it is a uh, feather. And I don't like those type of pillows because the feathers always come sticking out. But this is going to be decoration, so I don't care. And you know what? After I thought about it, I go, I don't really care. It does say Lake House on it. That might be okay. We'll go ahead and leave that maybe facing forward. I found this other one because I love the fabric on this one, and it coordinates really well with a comforter. This one says Smile on it. Now, when I first saw it, I thought, no, I'm going to turn it around and do it this way, right? So it doesn't have that on there. And then I thought, well, you know, this is stitched on right here. I could just unstitch that and remove that on there. But now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like it. So I'm going to leave that on there. And I have also another little blanket that's got like a little fur, a faux fur uh, effect. So that's going to go in there. And then I've also got a chair that used to be in that room. We moved out. We're going to move it back over. And I moved it out during the baby shower so we could have extra seating. But now we don't need it, so I'm going to move it back. And then I found this cute little ottoman. Look at this. And I found this one at Burlington on a separate visit. I like the little legs on the bottom, the little wood legs. And then I love the color that it has. It's a very neutral color. It's gray. It's like a, it's black in there with white, but, you know, the, the uh, stitch, the stitch or the weaving. But it gives it a gray tone to it. And I think it's like $25. Yeah, $25 for this. And, again... Actually, this for me is a splurge, but I do like it because it has, you know, some uh, storage in there. We can put some stuff in there, or he can put stuff in there, whatever. It doesn't matter what goes in there. Maybe some books, because my husband does go into that room and likes to sit in there and read. It has a morning light, so it's really nice. Okay, I don't know what else I got. Let's take it back away from the vent there. Uh, that's it. I think I showed you everything that I'm going to put in that room. Uh, aside from like uh, I mentioned the chair and a blanket that are also going to go in there, but you'll see that. So uh, what I want to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, help my husband. We're going to go put together a headboard. We got a piece of paneling from Home Depot and a couple of two by fours, and we decided that we're going to make a headboard. So I'm going to show you that uh, right next after this, so that you can see what we're how we're going to kind of put it together. It's not going to be a detailed, uh, you know, like a well, I don't know. Maybe it will be. <laughs> it depends on how things go. But I have to stain the two by fours. Um, I have to use some stain first, and then we're gonna. We have this paneling that we got. Well, I'll show it to you. So let's go ahead and go to that, and I'll show you that, and then we'll. I'll end up doing the room. All right, everyone. I've got this uh, paneling. It's not like real wood. I'm not really sure what it's made of. Maybe it's just a, like a really good heavy-duty cardboard, or maybe some wood in there. I'm not sure. But it's just a faux look on it. See how it has that really nice kind of rusted wood look? I love it. We are going to be making a headboard out of it. So we're going to measure the bed and then just measure this and cut so that it is just a little bit beyond the bed. And then we're going to take these two by fours right here and they're going to go on the side here on each side. And then this is going to be at the height actually of the two by four. It's going to get lifted up either screwed or nailed from behind. But first I gotta stain these here. And this is going to become a headboard. So let me go ahead and get staining this and my husband will then, and I will do some measuring. We'll cut this up, put it together, and it'll become a headboard for the twin size bed. All right, you guys, here it is. We have put together this makeshift headboard. So we've cut the board to size and I stained the two by fours. I had this espresso stain and it just works perfect with the colors that are on this paneling piece. We've got the other piece over there because we thought we might slide it behind. <laughs> 
this desk put it behind there it's not going to reach all the way up to the top but we figured at some other point we could just lift it and then maybe screw it onto the wall we're going to see if it fits back there you know at least to the edge of the table if not maybe a little bit further i'm not really sure but we're going to find out and i'm going to move this back behind there so the bed's going to come out just a bit over because this is going to go in there and the the mattress and the this part of the bed is actually going to be nestled inside of there like that. Now that's the way that we decided to design it. And I think it's going to work out. The dog and the cat are here. They're hungry. They want food. So do we. I think we're going to order Pizza Hut. And I have a little project. So I'm going to take you over to that next. All right, everyone. So I have a little project that I want to do for the room. I showed you that I had bought these uh, initials for my son's name and I want to put them on something so I thought maybe on a, on a little wood plaque or something and we had some scrap pieces of wood um, but some of them were a little bit thick so, you know like a plywood piece of a three quarter inch type of thickness of wood and they were just too thick and I thought that would just make a really heavy plaque we had been uh, to Home Depot or Lowe's I don't remember one of those two you know home improvement stores and we were looking at flooring uh, because we were thinking about using pieces of, from the flooring to do the uh, headboard of the room. And they had samples. You know how they, you know, they give you little samples so that you can take it home and uh, decide, you know, which, which flooring you like. Well, I grabbed a whole bunch of them knowing that, you know, some of these weren't even going to be the floors that I was going to pick. But I just happened to like them because, you know, they're free. They're free samples. And, you know, you know, the contractors pick them up because they want to use them for, you know, their customers to choose, uh, you know, their flooring, etc. So I thought, well, uh, these I have these, but they're not all the same thickness. They're all different thicknesses. But I thought, what if I was to put them together and create a little plaque? And what I've done here is I've put them, like some of these are the grains going this way, up, and then this way, then up, and this way, and then up. So that they're not all, the, the grades are not all going the same direction. So I got six of these. I actually have a lot more, but the other ones that I have are actually a lot thicker because they're different types of, you know, uh, flooring and, you know, they have those different samples from different makers. And then I thought, well, then I can put this on there. But then I thought, you know, well, how am I going to get these pieces together? Because, you know, I can't just glue them from the edges. So I thought, well, a piece of foam board. But I happen to have this cardboard, this white cardboard right here. Uh, this is from a poster, a paper poster that I bought, the one that I showed you earlier, that had the windmill. And, well, I've already put that on the wall. So I had this cardboard, and I thought, well, why don't I just cut the piece out of this cardboard, you know, recycle that, use that for something. And then I can put all these little pieces on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these four pieces, line them up to the farthest edge, and it can actually uh, be a little bit beyond the edge, okay? Because I want the cardboard to be behind this and not stick out, you know, from on the sides or up on the top. So I'm going to go up a little bit here. So it's about maybe a quarter inch out. And maybe a quarter inch that way. So I'm pushing it towards the corner here. And I'm pushing all these together. And then I'm just going to get a pencil that I put somewhere and I can't find. Oh, there it is. Right here. So today I don't have a recipe, but I am doing a... Oh, I keep going on top of the, the darn thing. I don't have a recipe that I'm doing today but for my vlog, but I am doing a little craft. And so there we go. I'm going to just trace around it. So I know what size, you know, to cut this out. So I can just grab my scissors or I can grab a, you know, a utility knife. And I'm actually going to cut in a little bit extra, a little bit more. Okay. And then over here, and I probably should stand for this. I'm sitting down. Let me stand up. This is actually a lot later in the afternoon because... Uh, we started doing a bunch of stuff in the room and it really needed to be cleaned. Okay. The headboard. Oh, I'm so happy with it, you guys. It looks so nice. Okay. Okay, there we go. Not completely cut out, so I'm just going to fold it. 
going to go like that. There we go. So now I've got my piece there. Get all this out of the way. And just one piece. Oh, I'm going to sit down again. Okay. So I've got my hot glue gun already ready here. It's all nice and hot and everything. So let me put these back the way that I had. I don't remember how I had them, guys. So let's see. I think I had the, like these dark ones out here. There we go. And then this one right here. Let me just make sure that they're all in different. Yeah, okay. This was actually in a different position because I went with a pencil, so I think that one was down there. Let's just do that. Okay, it doesn't really matter as long as, you know, you don't have like two similar colors too close to each other. So if you go over there, you get yourself some little samples. Let's see. And I just want to glue them on to the, uh, to the cardboard. And they're not all... Uh, exactly the same size because again they're from different brands of makers like let's see this is from who I don't know it just says Home Depot home decorators collection inter luxury interlocking luxury vinyl plank flooring see this one says interlocking and this one says uh, grip strips so I don't know what that means but this is from Allure this one doesn't say, but we'll just say it's a different brand because obviously, you know, whatever. But they're not the same thickness. And they're not the same width or anything. There's just a slight difference. So there might be a, you know, like a little bit where you can see through it. And if that bothers you, what you can do is you can get some paint and paint this a brown or black, whatever color you want. And then put these on it. And as you can see, they're going to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to make sure that these are a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing these down. So I'm going to put some glue right here. Put lots of it. Let's put that first one down. And like I said, let it, let it hang over a little bit. That's fine. Okay, we're going to do the next one. I'm just going to line it as much as I can with this one here. This one's going to go in the middle. Now they're not, you know, you can feel the difference in, in the thickness, but that's okay. I think that's part of the charm of this. If you're, if you're somebody that likes everything to be really exact, then, you know. Um, let me tell you something, you guys. If you go getting little samples, if you're going to go grab little, those little free samples, Whatever you make, don't sell your product. You got some free samples. Don't go try to make money out of them. This is just, you know, for a little little project. Don't don't go grabbing a whole bunch and be greedy, ha, like me. <laughs> okay. Oh, that glue stick went flying across the room. Okay. Okay. So there we go. That's glued. And as you can see, the little tile samples are, are bigger than my cardboard. So I made sure that the cardboard wasn't going to show through on the front here. So that's what I created. I like it. I like it a lot. I have this chain as well. So I was thinking that maybe if I put a little chain on it, I could hang it. See, like that. So I'm going to get my wire cutters. Cut, cut, cut. Let's see. And I'm just going to hot glue it from behind and pray that it all works out. Okay. Whoa! There we go. Now you could actually go get a little nail or a tiny little screw and put that in, but I'm not going to do that. I ain't wasting my time. Okay, I'm going to turn this around so I can hot glue this ends right here. You can go to Hobby Lobby or someplace where they have, you know, those little wood, wood plaques. And they're already cut out like really nice little, nice little shape. And then buy those metal things. They're from Hobby Lobby as well. And uh, create the, your, your plaque with something nice. Let it dry. And we'll be back. 
Okay, so there we go. This is on there. This is almost completely dry. It's still a little bit, you know, uh, a little bit wet in there, a little warm, but uh, it's good enough where I can turn it around and then work on the front. And I'm going to put this uh, facing you so that you can see how this is the top of it. Okay, so now I want to put the letters on there. And they're obviously not going to rest all too well because it's obviously, you know, um, not even because this one's a little bit thicker than this one. These are almost the same actually. So I just want to center these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these two with the edges of these letters and then just put this one somewhere in the middle. I think that that's a pretty good way to center it. Now I need to do the tops and the bottoms. And make sure that, that looks centered. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the J first. So let's just look at it. That's good. Okay. I'm going to put glue underneath there. And you could use a, a you know, an E6000 uh, super glue or even a, a um, Gorilla Glue. Use the, gorilla, the glue that you like to use, if you trust. I know I can trust this hot glue then, so I'm comfortable using that. And look at it. That's pretty good. I think this one's a little bit off, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. I made a little plug with these little pieces of, I think they were like maybe from some what did I say they were? Uh, plates, you know, the license plates from your, for your cars. And the letters were cut off. Okay, well, there we go, you guys. All right, let me go ahead and finish off the room, and I will be back. All right, everyone, I have finished putting the room together. So you saw it before, and this is after. We've got some lamps on, some artwork behind those items up on the shelf there. I decided to put that greenery basket way up on top of there. His records, record player, some little items that he's left behind. My husband works on this on his computer, so that's all still there. I did move around the bed, which was coming out this way. I decided to put it this way because I thought it would be a good idea to maybe get some big pillows and put them back there. Maybe this could become like a little couch, but for now it's a bed. <laughs> I put this line on there that I bought for my grandson because, you know, I was remembering that my son Nathan, who's going to be having this room now, um, when he turned uh, one year old. I actually gave him a Lion King birthday party because you know he had his golden hair and he looked like a little lion and now he's got a little nephew who's named Leo which is lion so I bought him this and he's got the little golden hair too so that's cute look at the items on the wall over here I made this uh, dream catcher some time ago decided to put it there Pictures on the wall there, hung them up. My husband helped me with that. Put the poster there. Those items were already over that, but I did hang these curtains, and these curtains uh, have, uh, you know, that sunblock. So those are gonna be nice. This room's gonna be nice and cool. We put this chair in here with a little ottoman in front of it. Threw a nice fuzzy blanket, a nice fuzzy pillow. And uh, the only thing is opposite of all this is a closet and there's a bit of wall and I want to put a long mirror. That's the only thing that I want to do. But this is a room. I'm so very proud of this headboard. It was the simplest thing to put together. We spent $18 on that paneling when we only used half, so that was 10 bucks, And then maybe another, you know, six, seven bucks for that 2 by 4 And that we've cut, stained it, and just screwed it from behind and then just set it behind the bed here that turned out really well and then we put some little hooks there uh these little cup holder type of little hooks there where these pendant lights are hanging from and i think it looks wonderful the reason that we decided to go with this is because there's a, an outlet right here and if the uh, headboard was right here also besides the couch 
idea is that that was going to be covering that outlet. And, and we like this like that because this actually pulls the bed away from the wall, so something could be plugged in there. I really like that poster. But there we go, everyone. There's the room. Oh, let me show you the little plaque that I made with his initials right here. I think that looks great. I'm so happy with that. It's a cute little idea. And that's it. All right, everyone. This room smells very nice because I've got this little lamp that's got that autumn kind of a pumpkin spice scent wax in there so it smells really good and that's also got that same type of light bulb that has and of course there's a little the little lamp I put it back there I think it looks really good it gives some light to that little corner and you can see the wood uh, that we just slipped back there it's not even attached to the wall or anything it's just being held by the by the desk but we do plan on maybe moving it up a little bit and attaching it to the wall so that'll look good. All right, let me step back. See the whole room like that. All right, everyone, this has been my weekend vlog. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up, a dirty big old thumbs up. I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and that you enjoyed my project today, which is making that headboard and that little uh, plaque over there and then just fixing up this whole room and I feel like it feels so nice and cozy in here very welcoming and because it was really plain before we had cleaned it up painted it and we never really decorated it. and the curtains really really add a lot of warmth to the room and it doesn't even make it look smaller it actually makes it feel a little bigger in here so I really like it I hope that you enjoyed it uh, if you're new to my channel you're visiting or you're a recurring recurrent visitor but you haven't subscribed please hit that red subscription uh, button and also the little notification bell on the side to notify you when I have my videos which is every Tuesday and every Friday and once in a while I have a little weekend vlog like this. And that's it everyone. Share on your social medias and as always enjoy.